Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, family. Praise the Lord, whoever is connected. You're welcome to this live session again. You're welcome, family. You're welcome to be part of this amazing live session. You're welcome to be part of this powerful live session. My prayer for you is may expectations not be cut short. In the name of Jesus. This is Prophetic Alpha with me with Esther Mega. And if you're seeing me for the first time, God bless you, God increase you. In the name of Jesus. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. Become part of this family. I love you all in the name of Jesus. You're welcome. You're welcome wherever you're connecting from. You're very much welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we give you all the praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for the life of everyone who is connecting here. Thank you, Jesus. Because their life shall never be the same after now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for transformation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for new beginnings. Thank you for a new face. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for the life of everyone that is connecting you. May there be transformation. May there be transformation. May there be deliverance. May there be breakthroughs. May there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Your expectations will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, your expectations will not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the praise. Marabaskarada bashanda le gere de bosha. Marababa baba shanda la gada la da ba si ke de le de bosha ra da ba. Rababa baba shara da ba le ka da ba shanda le ka da ba si ke de le de bosha ra da ba le ka ra da ba shanda. Thank you for new openings, new beginnings. Surely an end to that problem has come. Surely an end to that situation has come. Surely an end to that challenge has come. In the name of Jesus, upon this mountain of prayer today, O oh God. Jesus, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I'm just going to um, give you a point of what we shared last time, and from there we'll move to something else, and we pray. Hallelujah. I just feel it to share a point of what we shared here the last time. Hallelujah. I said a lot of times, you may be going through a lot, hallelujah, not necessarily because you are the problem, but because you carry the wrong people around you and they end up, um, you end up being consumed by their atmosphere. So in order to have an atmosphere that subjects others, hallelujah, you need to build intimacy with God. You need to build intimacy with God. Christina, God bless you. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. You need to build intimacy with God. Hallelujah. You need to build intimacy with God. That was what I said. That because when you build intimacy with God, and I said intimacy with God is built in the sacred place. And in the sacred place comes your victory. In the sacred place comes sensitivity. Hallelujah. In the sacred place comes comes with triumph it gives you it gives you victory because the bible says for he who dwells in the sacred place of the most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty 
So your, your secret place is a place where you conquer, is a place where you have victory. So in order to build the right atmosphere, in order, in order to build the right atmosphere, that is going to be able to sensitive to the wrong people that are coming around you or to the wrong things or be able to um, subject the wrong atmospheres around you. What are you supposed to do to build intimacy with God? intimacy with god that is cultivating the right atmosphere when you spend time in the secret place you end up cultivating the right atmosphere the right atmosphere hallelujah hallelujah and when you cultivate the right atmosphere it gives you stability when you cultivate the right atmosphere it gives you what it gives you stability hallelujah thank you jesus now something else that i'll be adding to that is mind your speech hallelujah mind your speech do not be quick to talk no matter how let me say no matter how someone may may provoke you to anger do not be quick to talk jesus mind your speech don't let anything don't let anything hinder you or hold you back in the name of jesus don't let anything make you to say things that you are not supposed to say. Don't let anything make you to bring out words that you, you are you will not be able to retain. You will not be able to, to take them back. Hallelujah. I always say to myself when, when I get upset or when someone makes me angry, I always say to myself that I have control over myself and I'm and I'll not allow myself to say things that I will not be able to retrieve back hallelujah because remember when you speak out of anger you speak and you get to say things that were uncalled for and at, the, and at the end of the day maybe when the problem is solved you may not be able to take back those words no matter the number of stories that you take but there are certain things that you have said that you cannot take them back hallelujah glory to god so it is <clears throat> excuse me so I encourage you, hallelujah, I will encourage you to mind your speech in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> to mind your speech, hallelujah. Because you can always have confidence to speak when you are well guided, hallelujah. You can only have confidence to speak when you are well guided, when you listen to the right things, when you are always, when you are taught the right things, when you are in the place of fellowship, that is what helps you to guide your speech. Hallelujah. That is what helps you to guide your speech in the name of Jesus. Because what you say will never matter if you do not listen to the right things. So now this one now is still um connects to the first intimacy with God intimacy with God and I said something that mind your association so in order for you to 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 bring out okay to speak the right thing in order for you to speak um constructively you need to spend time with God hallelujah divine helper you're welcome in the name of Jesus you need to spend so much time with God. You need to spend time with God, intimacy with God. That is where you end, you cultivate the right atmosphere. And you know, it is only God that can truly rebuke you of certain things. Hallelujah. It is only God that can rebuke you of certain things that you may feel like they are right before men. But when you go before God as a broken man, he, re he rebukes you and tells you, no, these things you are supposed to stop them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So mind your speech, the kind of things that you say, the kind of company that you keep around you. Hallelujah. The kind of company that you keep around you because you can easily become what you hear, especially when you keep the wrong people around you. The kind of conversations, the kind of discussions that you get to have with them may end up doing what may end up affecting you knowingly or knowingly. It may end up affecting your speech. It may end up affecting a lot of things about you. That is why you should be able to spend time and cultivate the right atmosphere in the sacred place so that you'll be able to discern what when the right people come close to you or when the wrong people come close to you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah simpson you're welcome god bless you in the name of jesus thank you god thank you lord jesus hallelujah thank you jesus the right atmosphere it has the capacity hallelujah to choke gener generational patterns hallelujah 
atmosphere atmosphere has the right it it can it has the capacity to help you help you to help you in your let me say in your future hallelujah when you build the right atmosphere around you glory to god that was why jacob jacob when he wrestled with the angel he went alone he did not go with anyone he did not ask of anyone's opinion he went alone there was something that was generated around him glory to god hey kuda you're welcome god bless you in the name of jesus hallelujah he cultivated the right atmosphere he cultivated the right atmosphere and what happened at the end of the day his true identity was revealed to him in the name of jesus so mind your speech mind your speech mind the kind of company the kind of people that you keep around you in order to sustain a good atmosphere you must mind your speech mind the kind of people that you keep around you hallelujah and above all build intimacy with god because when you build intimacy with god it helps you to cultivate the right atmosphere hallelujah it helps you to cultivate the right atmosphere psalm 91 says that i who dwells in the sacred place you will dwell in the sacred place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It takes consistency for you to obtain victory in the sacred place. It takes consistency in fellowship for you to be able to discern those that are, are, are their intention towards you are true and those that are intentions are not right. Hallelujah. So it takes consistency in the sacred place to be able to discern who is going to be your friend, to be able to discern those that are coming close to you with the wrong intention the wrong motives or those that are coming close to you with the wrong atmosphere it takes consistency in the sacred place to be able to call to to be able to discern these things so no matter what never disregard never lose no, never get tired of spending time with god in the sacred place in the name of jesus mind your company evil communication it corrupts good manners hallelujah you may be someone that is good you are fine like by your own by yourself and you decide if you don't have the spirit of discernment to know to determine who to bring close what is going to happen you can end up bringing the wrong people and they start affecting their their, their atmosphere start affecting you without you even knowing hallelujah that is why you need consistency in the sacred place that is why you need to be consistent committed to the sacred sacred place because that is the only place that you gain the strength that god can help you through that to be able to discern hallelujah because if you are not able to discern those that come close to you you may end up accommodating the wrong people you may end up accommodating the wrong people and i'll tell you what in the journey in this journey of destiny making major decisions it's not um relying on who is your friend or who is close to you it is relying and trusting in the spirit of god within you hallelujah trusting in the spirit of god within you and there is no way that you can fully be convicted of the spirit of god that is within you or convicted about something that you're about to make a decision about if you are not consistent in the sacred place hallelujah if you're not consistent in the sacred place like i i spoke about jacob that is in genesis chapter 2 and i'll take you back there hallelujah because there was when he was about to make a major decision about his life about his family he was angry with certain things he did not ask of anyone's opinion maybe if he would have asked of someone's opinion they would have told him that are you sure um it that we advise you better leave it there will be a time when everything will work well hard because there are people that can be close to you it's not like they are bad I just feel like you know when they say they don't have the right energy and you know and they don't understand how how your destiny or what you are working towards in destiny your responsibilities in time hallelujah so some people may just advise you that oh just let it be when the right time will come then it will happen no you need to understand that it is only in the sacred place that god is going to help you know what to do know those drastic steps you have to take concerning your destiny because it is not everything Thing in destiny that you just allow it to happen it is not anything in destiny that you just let it be hallelujah there are some things in destiny that you become aggressive about there are some things in destiny that you become more 
angry about hallelujah and it, it prompts you to take drastic decisions hallelujah especially when you are tired with certain things in your life that was exactly what jacob did that was exactly what jacob did jacob was not happy with the results that he was seeing in his life he was not happy with the outcome of his life and what happened he decided to go and seek the face of the lord alone by himself put his family away put everyone away way and he decided to seek the Lord by himself hallelujah so it is only consistency in the sacred place hallelujah it is only consistency because sometimes you may just be going about your life but there is something inside of you telling you that oh this is not what you are supposed to be do or this is not where you are supposed to be there is something inside of you that keeps telling you that this is not where you belong that you are at number three but you are supposed to be at number four you are at number five but you are supposed to be tend you had you had 50 percent but you are supposed to be at 80 percent right now about uh, concerning certain things in your life so until you get angry with yourself and take drastic measures things will not change it is only in the sacred place that god is going to help you face those things fearlessly face those things without any form of fear within you hallelujah it is only in the sacred place and if you keep the wrong company how are you going to know how are you going to be able to discern hallelujah if you keep the wrong company that is why i tell you consistency in the sacred place matters consistency in the sacred place of matters because when it comes to rebuke god is going to rebuke you in the sacred place when it comes to promote god is going to promote you when it comes to victory god is going to help you obtain the victory hallelujah and when it comes to revealing more about you knowing more about yourself hallelujah it is only in the sacred place it is, it is only in the sacred place that you can get to know more about yourself hallelujah you can get to know more about yourself you can get to know more about about who you are because the more God is being revealed the more he's revealing himself to you the more you gain an understanding of yourself hallelujah because we are created in his image and in his likeness hallelujah so it is only in the sacred place that you end up of Obtaining the kind of victory that you so desire concerning life's battles, hallelujah. Because there are things in life that you don't you don't have to just look at them and ignore you know, and let them be until when things are going to change. You are the change, so you need to confront them as the change that you are, like the one with the solution. Glory to God. So Jacob saw these things before he decided to go and encounter God, and he said that I will not let you go until you bless me. Just imagine a man who has fought all through the night and he was so tired, but still he was not willing to let go because there was something inside of him that kept telling him that there is that your solution is in this place. You cannot just let it go. You cannot just let it pass. Your solution is in this place. Hallelujah. So I encourage everyone that is watching me that consistency in the sacred place is the key. Hallelujah. Is the key. It holds like 70% or 80% of your victory concerning everything in life that you are trusting God for. Because when you overcome, when you obtain victory from the sacred place, you have obtained victory even before man. Hallelujah. That was where Jacob now was was able the bible says in obadiah that deliverance came the bible says the lord god said that upon mount zion they shall be deliverance and the house of jacob hallelujah they shall be deliverance and holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possession so it takes a certain level of confidence it takes a certain level of understanding about yourself about your personality about your identity for you to be able to build a certain level of courage to confront certain things to confront certain life's battles hallelujah so this is what it entails consistency in the sacred place the bible says he who dwells in the sacred place of the most high you shall abide under the shadow of the almighty hallelujah your dwelling in the sacred place of the most high can help you obtain the kind of victory that you so desire concerning that particular situation so i don't know that situation that you are going through right now and you have been trusting on looking for help from 
left or right hallelujah i don't know that particular situation but one thing that i want you to understand is your 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 your, your victory lies in the sacred place hallelujah do not give up maybe you are the virtue of giving up you are tired because you feel like oh god i have come before you i have seek your face concerning this particular thing and nothing nothing seems to be changing and it seems like nothing is happening i want you to understand that your victory is still in the sacred place hallelujah you need to get tired hallelujah you need to get tired on your own you need to get tired relying on your effort you need to get tired blaming god hallelujah and you need to you need to you need to get the courage that you need to confront that situation you need to get the courage that you need to confront that life's battle that has that has been standing before you for so long in the name of jesus i pray that god is going to help you god is going to help you to confront whatever is standing before you and god is going to give you the victory that you need in the name of jesus you are not going to be a failure you're not going to be a disappointment you're not going to be this kind of a person that looks at the battle ahead of you and give up before time hallelujah god is going to give you that which you need the boldness the confidence that you need to confront that battle to confront that situation in the mighty name of jesus to confront it and you are going to confront it and stay there until you obtain the victory just like jacob hallelujah he held on until he said i will not let you go he was so tired hallelujah he was so tired to that point where he had to give up but he said i I will not let you go until you bless me hallelujah because aside from doing other things you must have the conviction about you you must you must have that conviction about or you may you must be very intentional about the change that you need you must be very intentional about the change that you need and that you're trusting god for hallelujah because if you're not intentional about it you may not end up you may end up not seeing your desired results so you must be intentional about setting things you may be you must be intentional about confronting those battles you may you must be intentional about submitting that thing before god that marriage that marriage that relationship hallelujah you must be intentional about it about your children about that particular job proposal about the situations issues that are going on in your office you must be intentional prudence god bless you you're welcome in the name of jesus you must be intentional because until you are intentional you will not see the result that you you expect hallelujah jacob was intentional jacob was intentional hallelujah jacob was intentional about the kind of results that he wanted to see Thank you, Jesus. He was so intentional. Later, you're welcome. God bless you. Jacob was intentional. So I said about 75% to 80% of your victory to life's battles, lies in your sacred place because it is in the sacred place that you obtain victory hallelujah glory to god queen esther when she was about to meet the king she had spent how many days preparation fasting and praying because she understood that the destiny of, of a people lies on her. She understood. She spent time with God in the sacred place. Fasted for three days. So the kind of victory that you desire to have, you can only obtain it first from the sacred place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, So Jacob was left alone, and three, a man wrestled with him until daybreak. That's um, Genesis 32, verses 20, um, 24. You can read it by yourself. You can read the pretext for the entire chapter after now. And when he saw that he did not prevail against him, 
he touched the socket of his thigh, and the socket of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go. This was the angel speaking. Let me go for the day breaks. And he said, I will, I will not let you go on, unless you bless me. This was Jacob's response. Then he said to him, what is your name? This was the angel responding. That's verse 27 and 28 says, and he said, your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have, you have strived, striven with God and with men and have prevailed. Hallelujah. You have prevailed. So it is only in the sacred place. There are certain things that you cannot really confront if you don't have conviction. If you, if you are not very sure, you will not be able to confront certain things about your life. It entails that you take drastic steps, drastic steps towards them. He said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And he said, your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. You see that this was a man that was fighting. He felt like there was something that needed to happen. Like you, 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 he, he, he fought, he wrestled with an understanding that your name is not Jacob, but Israel. See how his life changed because of persistence. He persisted. He stayed there. He insisted. There are certain things in life or there are certain life's battles that you, you are not just supposed to give up easily. You are not just supposed to let them be and say to yourself, oh, let, let um, I know that God will arise for me. I know that God is going to work things out for me. Especially when you are getting tired and there is something inside of you, your inner man is telling you that this is not where you belong. This is not where you have to be. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent men shall take it by force. So there are certain situations that entails that you become violent. There are certain situations that entails you become aggressive. You confront them with aggression. You confront them violently. Hallelujah. That was what Queen, Queen Esther did. And God, what did God do? God granted her favor. So never minimize yourself and say that, oh, I'm sure that this kind of thing is for people who pray like this. I'm sure that this kind of thing is for people who pray like that. No, that's not always the case. That's not always the case. Because you may be saying, saying it like that or you may be talking like that without knowing that you too have that capacity. But because you haven't been brought to the light of what you carry inside of you, you may just be thinking that it is meant for others. Hallelujah. So there is something that is inside of you. There is something that is inside of you. Bible says in the book of Luke that he will give you a mouth. He's going to give you a mouth that even your adversaries, they will not be able to resist. Luke. So sometimes when you want to confront those things and you are afraid, these are the kind of scriptures that you begin to read. These are the kind of scriptures that you begin to read. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Luke 21 verses 15. Excuse me. Luke 21 verses 15. Excuse me.
Luke 21 verses 15. The Bible says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom that all your adversaries will not be able to refute or resist. So the boldness that you need, where do you think this can be obtained? This can be gotten from. It can only be gotten from the sacred place. It can only be gotten from the sacred place. That I will give you a mouth and wisdom. Wisdom, a mouth. While I was studying on this scripture, I got to understand that mouth talks of boldness. Because you have your mouth. Boldness, utterance, and wisdom that even your adversaries, when they hear you, they will not be able to resist. Why? Because you are not just speaking mere words. You are speaking from a place of understanding. And your words have been empowered by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be praying that God gives you the courage. God gives you the courage to confront that life's challenge that has been standing before you, that mountain that has been standing before you and overcome in the name of Jesus. I pray that you're going to obtain the victory in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that is connecting here, Lord. I pray for everyone that is connecting here. That that particular battle of life that has been standing before you as a mountain, God is going to give you the grace. He's going to give you what you need to overcome in the name of Jesus. You are not going to give up before time. In the name of Jesus, you will overcome that life's battle, that thing that has been standing before you, that barrier that has been standing before you, that particular issue that has been standing before you as a mountain. In the name of Jesus, the wisdom that you need, the utterance that you need, the boldness that you need, God is giving you in the name of Jesus to be able to overcome. You will confront them. You will subdue. You will overcome and you will obtain the victory in the name of Jesus. Bakadabashadarab Baskadaba, Mandele de Bo Shadada da Ba Rabba Baba Shadada, Rabandele de Bo Shakatala da Ba, Lekadala da Ba, Lekona Nia Kapa Rabba Baba Bashanda. You are going to obtain the victory in the name of Jesus. Rabba Lagada Ba Shadada da Lekadaba Shanda. You shall not give up before it's time. You shall not give up in the name of Jesus. God is giving you the courage. God is giving you the boldness. All what you need. Barande. Like I said, you get it from the sacred place. And because God has given you the victory already in the sacred place, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you see it realized physically in the mighty name of Jesus. Like how Queen Esther fellowship with God, sought the face of the Lord for three days and victory was obtained. Hallelujah. And she obtained the victory over the lives of Jews in the name of Jesus. I pray that that thing that has been your sacred cry, that thing that has made you to go into the sacred place interceding for so long, God is going to give you the victory in the name of Jesus. They will not know how they accepted it. They will not know how it was granted unto you in the name of Jesus. But God is going to grant it unto you. God is going to grant it unto you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because God gives you the victory in the name of Jesus. Because God gives you the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That, that issue that has been standing as a barrier before you, God is giving you the victory in the name of Jesus. 
God is giving you the victory in the name of Jesus. He says he will give you a mouth and a wisdom. A mouth and a wisdom. That is what you need. That is your weapon. It's in your mouth. Hallelujah. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Imagine God giving, empowering your words. What made Jacob to tell the angel, I will not let you go? It was from a place of conviction. He was not satisfied. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is giving someone victory over that situation in the name of Jesus. God is giving someone victory over that situation that has been standing tall before you. God is giving you the wisdom that you need to bring down that mountain that has been standing before you in the name of Jesus. You will overcome in the name of Jesus. You will obtain the victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for everyone that is connecting here, everyone that has come through, come for this prayer session today. I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever is that desire of your heart in the name of Jesus, whatever you came here with in the name of Jesus, may God give you the victory. May God give you the victory. May God meet you at the point of your need. That expectation in the name of Jesus, it will not be cut short. God is giving you victory. Victory upon victory. Victory upon victory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you just join us, if you came late, you can go and rewatch the video. God bless you. If you came late, you can go and rewatch the video. God bless you. And if you feel led to sow a seed, do so in the name of Jesus. Connect to it for the boldness that you need, the courage that you need, the wisdom that you need. You can connect to either God. After hearing this teaching, I believe and I trust that my life cannot be the same after now. My life cannot be the same after now in the name of Jesus. And I want to also tell everyone, let you know that everyone that is connecting here, that membership is open for this channel. Membership is open for this family. I pray that God is going to help you to, to, to do that which is right by becoming a member. Make up your mind. Hallelujah. To become a member, to receiving powerful teachings. Hallelujah. So I was talking about what can sustain your atmosphere. They say what can sustain your atmosphere, and I spoke of intimacy, minding your speech, and um, keeping the right company. I think there are still two more things that I haven't mentioned. There are still two more things that I haven't mentioned. By the grace of God, I'm trusting God to mention them in another live session. Hallelujah! I'm trusting God to mention them in another live session. Glory to God. So you can make up your mind to become a member. Make up your mind to become a member. And if you feel like to sow a seed, do so. And if you do not have to sow a seed, do not feel bad. Because whether you give or not, you are blessed. Hallelujah. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Okay, for I have been receiving mails on prayer requests. Hallelujah. And by the grace of God, I've been making intercessions. If I haven't sent you a reply, I have an understanding that I haven't had the instructions to send your reply. But I have seen the messages and I am praying for them. Hallelujah. I pray that God is going to come through for you over that situation. That situation that you're going through in the name of Jesus. You shall not be there for so long. God is going to bring about the uh, um, um, victory your way in jesus name is going to give you the victory in the name of jesus amen hallelujah thank you so much kuda god bless you too thank you so much so if you have sent me a mail and i haven't replied know that i have seen them and i'm already making prayers i'm going to send you a reply not long from now i'm going to send you a reply not long for now in the name of jesus christ thank you lord god Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for staying connected. Next time you come with your family, next time you share live sessions with your family, with your loved ones. God bless you. God increase you all. I really do want to appreciate my returning subscribers, members, those that are just connecting for their first times, those that are always here. 
God bless you all. Thank you so very much for your consistency. Thank you so very much for, for standing with me, for believing in me. I love you all so very much. Hallelujah. And I trust that that which God um, led you here, like God has brought you here, your expectations, hallelujah, it shall not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Whatever expectation that you came here with, in the name of Jesus, God is going to meet you at the point of your need, in the mighty name of Jesus. So concerning that situation, do not feel bad, do not feel discouraged. Know that your victory lies in the sacred place, hallelujah. Know that your victory lies in the sacred place. And I pray that God is going to give you the victory over that situation, your marriage, your relationship, in in the name of Jesus, your education, your career, your job, in the name of Jesus, your ministry, your personal work with God, your personal work with God. Maybe you are trusting God for a certain level of intimacy. God is going to grant you the grace, hallelujah, to, 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 to get to that height in the name of Jesus Christ. And you're not going to be a failure. You're not going to be a disappointment in Jesus' mighty name. The generation that God has called you for, you are not going to disappoint them. Just like how Esther got you star. She did not know, you know, when you feel like you don't have the capacity, but God is only pointing at you that you are the one. God is going to grant you the grace that you need in the name of Jesus. Because what he has seen in you, no one else has seen it. And he knows what he deposited in you. And that is what matters. Because he who called you is going to take you to the very end of the journey. Hallelujah. He who started the good work in you will take it to the very end. So do not underestimate yourself. Do not undermine yourself. Because there is something in you that you haven't been brought to the light yet or you haven't seen yet but as long as you stay in the sacred place god is going to bring you into an understanding of it in the name of jesus and he's going to grant you the wisdom to say through it in destiny and in time in jesus name amen god bless you or god increase you or thank you so very much for stopping by thank you so very much for connecting i love you all like i said membership is open and if you feel led to sow a seed do not hold yourself back i love you also very much for prayer requests if you want to send requests after now you can write me after now go to descriptions my email is there and write me i love you all and i want to say that you all are special you are special god bless you in jesus name amen